I'm John Whitney, the Director of Fertility Storage Solutions. We're here at our Henderson, Nevada storage facility. I'm excited to show you around. Once your specimens leave your laboratory, they are brought to our facility in Henderson, Nevada by a hand-tendered courier. This facility and in this room is available 24 hours, 365 days a year. These two shippers were brought in last night by our hand-tendered courier. That courier was on video surveillance by two cameras inside of this room, as well as one camera outside when he used his personalized code to enter. This room can be separated for 24 hour delivery and not be affected by anybody else in the rest of the building. Now let me show you where the fun happens. At Fertility Storage Solutions, we use three 1500 liter liquid nitrogen storage tanks for our liquid nitrogen reservoir to fill our specimen storage tanks. Liquid nitrogen is a very safe substance. It is non-combustible, non-flammable. All of these tanks are monitored by telemetry online by our vendor that we have access to, as well as we can see exactly how much nitrogen is inside of the tanks currently just by the push of a button. The biggest concern with liquid nitrogen is actually for our staff and oxygen levels inside of the building. This room has multiple oxygen monitors throughout the entire facility in order to maintain oxygen levels and ensure that our staff is nice and safe. Here at Fertility Storage Solutions, we use the K-Series cryo systems. These are high capacity storage tanks for your specimens. They can carry somewhere between nine to 10,000 specimens inside of them. They have instant access to nitrogen from our 1500 liter nitrogen storage tanks. Safety is the utmost importance to us here at Fertility Storage Solutions. We have multiple layers of safety. We have video surveillance 24 hours a day inside of this room that I can access at any time. All of our tanks have at least two alarms on them. This tank right here has an alarm built into the tank that we can see visible right here on it that will go ahead and alert us. The next alarm system is our real-time monitoring, which is our Ziltrix alarm. It has a probe that goes and gives us real-time monitoring 24 hours a day. There is 26 inches of nitrogen inside of this tank right now. One of the nice things about liquid nitrogen storage is that it does not need electricity in order for it to maintain proper storage. Given any natural disaster or power outage, these tanks are good for many, many, many weeks without any backup nitrogen or electricity. Also, these tanks have a large opening lid that makes it very easy for our staff to be able to use and go in and out of on a daily basis. So this is the inside of our storage tanks. This is where your specimens stay. You can be rest assured that your specimens are safe inside of this storage tank. They are nestled between inches of liquid nitrogen safely stored. Right in the very far back is one of our temperature monitor probes. This probe is reading a temperature real time and giving us instant access to know that your specimens are safe. Once your specimens arrive here, the very first thing that we do is open up the tank and we check that the temperature is correct. Upon visual inspection of the temperature is correct, we go ahead and we remove both of the GPS units. We document all of that on our specimen intake log. The next thing is, is that we take this specimen tank out and we're going to go ahead and take a weight of the tank. Once the tank has been validated for both temperature and weight and we know that it arrived safely, the temperature data logger is removed so that that temperature data log is kept for further records. One of the most important processes is now specimen intake, which is now making sure that your specimens are safely put into our specimen storage tanks. We have two people here to witness and to document this entire process. The first step is identifying your specimens from the transportation tank into our working doer. Correct. Then, once we know that everything matches the paperwork that was received, we're going to go ahead and put it into the specimen storage tank. Box 39. Now your specimen is safely placed inside of the specimen storage tank. Great care is to ensure that we moved as quickly as possible from the specimen shipping tank into the specimen storage tank with witnessing the entire way through. Finally, preparing a shipment in order to go get your specimens from your laboratory, we have to prepare the shipper. So the shipper lid is opened and we are filling it with liquid nitrogen up to the minimum weight that we have to ensure a proper shipment. Now that the dry shipper has been filled, we're going to go ahead and take a weight and make sure that it's been filled properly. 
again, the liquid nitrogen tank contains nitrogen within the walls. We want to make sure that there's enough nitrogen in order to support the transport. All of our shipments are validated and documented for this process. We add two GPS units into the tracker, and we go ahead and attach the temperature data logger to make sure that the temperature is correct, and we start the temperature data logging, making sure that the internal temperature is correct. This tank is now ready to go. Thanks for joining us on this tour of our facility here in Henderson, Nevada. It was my pleasure to show you all the lengths that we take to ensure the safety of your specimens. That is our number one concern here, and I hope that you enjoyed seeing what we have to offer at Fertility Storage Solutions.